Hello and welcome. It's Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve once again. Can you believe that? Yes. Can you? Yes. This is our more fourth Christmas show. What are you doing with that on your face? It's my balaclava Christmas hat. You look like some psycho lunatic that's been murdering people. Excuse me, have you seen your hat? Well, I don't know. What's it look like? A Mr. Do hat. I always get the shit Christmas hat, and you always get the cool Christmas hat. You've got well, the. Well, no, this is my Christmas hat. This yeah, is my no, own one. Yeah, you can one. keep that. I don't want that one. Alright, I'll wear my other one then. Yeah. Put your normal I've Christmas got all hat. Fluff in my hand, Doesn't no. matter. Just put your hat on. Oh God, it's small. It is small. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> It's Christmas Eve. It's finally that time of year again, and it's time for the Retro Shed's annual Christmas message to the world. Yes. A bit like the Queen. You're, you're acting like this message is broadcasted to like millions of people watching us right now. Probably acting a like couple of hundred. Acting like absolute Muppets of Christmas hats on. Probably a couple of hundred at the most. But ours is more entertaining than the Queen's. Yes. Um, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas. And um, let's face it. 2021 can't be any worse than 2020. 2020's been crap. It has been pretty crap, to be fair. And uh, there's nothing else worth talking about this year. No, no. So, um, we thought we'd just come and say uh, Happy Christmas. Um, stay safe. Yep. Catch you again soon. Catch you again later. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Josh, no. No. That's, that's not on. That's not on. <laughs> There's a lot more to talk about than actually we realise. There probably is. There is. No, let's be fair. <laughs> We spent most of 2020 at home, let's be fair. We haven't really gone anywhere, we haven't really done anything, but you know what? When you look closer back on what we actually have done this year, there's a lot more to it than That's you realise. about the start of the year. Yeah. Uh, we've made 25 videos, including this one. That's a lot yeah. of work. That is a lot of work. And incidentally, this, as I said earlier, this is our fourth Christmas video. That's quite mad to be fair. It is quite mad. This channel has been going three and a half years. years. It feels like it's been going 30 years, <laughs> but it hasn't. It's only been three and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be four years old next April. Yeah. And you know what? You've really grown up big time. You lot have seen me grow up, haven't you? Yeah. Honestly, looking back at stuff, it's just like you were like Baby Yoda sat there. It's just... And you sounded like Baby Yoda as well in some Wait, of our early videos. Sure, man. <laughs> Before the COVID lockdown, which happened end of March, March twenty third, um, we'd actually gone to four events. That? How do I know the exact date? God, it's probably ingrained in your brain forever. It literally isn't it? is. We went to play Bidford. Well, you didn't because it was I didn't like go a to night. That no, you didn't go. We went to the Retro Shed. Went to play Bidford. Mm. We went to South uh, West Amiga Group meet. I didn't go to that one. The day after, which was great fun. Play Bidford was great fun as well. Sad that plays closed now. Really, really sad to hear that, guys. Covid has destroyed Play Bidford, which is a massive shame because I wanted to go back. Um, Revival Part One as well. That was good. What are you looking oh, at? I'm just your. Ridiculous. Um, Revival Part 1, that was great. That was it was fun. a smaller, intimate venue, but it was really good. Met oh, a load cool. of good people there. And of course, Arcade Club, yes. which Classic. we went to the weekend Classic. before the Lockdown. virus started going ballistic. We have been quite busy. We were busy this year, and things took a little bit of a dip um, in the middle of the summer yes. um, because of various things like our mental health. Not that it's much better now. No, we're it, still went, a bit, it went to shit. Yeah, we're still a bit nuts. Um, to be honest with you, I did think at the beginning of the year that all this stuff would be done by now. I honestly thought COVID would be done by the autumn and everything would be back to normal and it was just going to be, you know, six months of um, inconvenience. But yeah, no, it's, it's not. Here in the UK, even it appears to be rising faster than uh, ever before. It's the government's fault, let's be honest. <laughs> Well, no, it it's is. not let's just the government's fault. We're not a political channel, but let's go there for a moment. It's not just the government's fault because there are a lot of idiots. You've in also the got you've got the absolute muppets who just don't care. You know, who will literally walk through the town centre in the mornings when I walk to school, wearing their mask on their ear, on their arm, on their finger, on their foot, but not actually on their face. Uh, two weeks later, why is the infection? Why is the infection rising? Why are more people get? Yeah, it's so it's stupid. And if a fifteen-year-old can see it. Can you not see it? Are you stupid? Thank you to all those that have subscribed, commented, oh, no, we're going stayed to with us, um, and even helped us out on Patreon. Patreon yes, uh, yeah. supporters. Um, you paid for my Mackies on... one time. Yes, you've bought him a Mackies or something like that. Thank you. Um, the details there are below. If you wish to, so if you want to contribute, if you'd like to contribute, please, please do. If you want to see more videos from us, and why the hell would you want to? Um, 
We still have fun, actually. Me and him still have fun. We have more fun now, actually. I've not eaten in about three weeks, no. so please support him. I look at the size of him. He's wasting away, the poor kid. I've been um, locked in the basement for four days. If you want to see more stuff from us, you know, please help us out on Patreon, because let's face it, we're not going to make an effing bean from, from YouTube. YouTube. He has grown up an awful lot. He's actually grown up so much now that he's stopped playing Fortnite, which is great. Actually, I'll start playing it. Not, not really start playing it. I'll play it, like, a few times. You playing it again? Only on keyboard and mouse. Getting ready for my gaming PC. Do you remember June 2018? Not particularly well, why? The Atari VCS. Oh. Yes. The Atari VCS. Do you know what? Indeed. When I first saw this Attract trailer, it's been I was last week. so excited. I thought that looks brilliant. It actually released, uh, it started shipping on the 11th or uh, 12th of December and yeah, I did some looking on YouTube because I lost interest in this a long time ago when I found out that it was going to be a crowdfunded Linux box. I thought, what the hell has that got to do with an Atari? Yeah. Um, so I looked up on it and you know what? It sounds like it's a bit of a bag of shit. So apparently it's $389. $389, right? You get an ADR, an AMD powered box running a custom Atari Linux build. I guarantee we could build something like that for a tenner. You could probably build it for 30 quid from a, from, a, uh, from a Pi 3 or something yeah. like that. But the thing is, you're paying $389 right now for a set top box that plays Asteroids. Oh, it plays Fortnite as well. Because believe it or not, it's got a mode called PC mode. What's the point in that? Exactly. That's exactly my question. PC mode Stupid. allows you to install Windows 10 or Ubuntu. What's the point? So in that? let me ask you a question, Josh. Here's a console. There you go. There's your new console. Three hundred eighty-nine pounds. What can I play on it, Dad? Ask me. What can I play on it, Dad? You can play Asteroids and some other really, really old Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. Yeah. But you can install Windows on it. No, it's okay. I've got my PC upstairs. Ah, thank you. Thank you. There you go. The kid hit the nail on the head, and that's not scripted. He hit the nail on the head. If you want to play Windows games, surely... Use a PC! Use a PC. Whether you buy a laptop, or you buy a gaming PC, you spend and away you go. dollars to do something that I can literally do right now on a laptop. What were you guys thinking, releasing this piece of shit? On topic of um, shit things being released recently... <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk. I wasn't going to mention Cyberpunk. I think we should talk about it. I wasn't going to mention Cyberpunk. I think we should talk Go about on it. then, have, you, have your rant well, on Cyberpunk. Well, but Cyberpunk apparently has the worst glitches you can possibly imagine. I've seen videos of NPC characters walking past with floating eyeballs. And oh, edit. what game used to do that? There was it's another ridiculous. game that used to do that. No, wasn't it The like, Witcher or something like that? Yeah, it's honest, It's so glitchy that they've literally pulled it from the PlayStation Store. Welcome to the world of modern games. They've literally. How long have they had developing this game? Well, do you know how what I think it is? I tell you what years. it is, Josh. They were under extreme pressure to release the game before they, they Christmas. They had years. And you've got two options, haven't you, as a game developer? You can either turn around to your your core audience and say, do you know what? This game is not ready. It's not ready by a long shot. I don't think they can and say that. And if we release it now, you are all going to be really disappointed. How many times have they actually said that though? This yeah, thing, is, this game has been in progression for years. Oh, look at look at look. What was that game that you bought? for the PS4, no Man's, oh, no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was famous for being glitchy, full of bugs, and it didn't do what the developers wanted it to do. I feel like Today, it. apparently, four, three years later? Four years later. Three or four years later, <laughs> apparently it's a really good game. So all you lot that have gone out and bought this goddamn thing... Give it a four years and give it, it might four just years. be worth playing. Yeah. The Spectrum Next, for me, was one of the highlights of 2020. That is... Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Okay. I think that is not true. That it's, How many times have you played on that thing? Uh, I only put it away a couple of days ago. I get it out every couple of weeks or so and play on it. Fact. So you don't come down here for weeks at a time. You don't come down here for weeks. There's the box there. Well, I was only playing on it the other day. I was playing Tyvarian, actually, and it's a great game, that is. I play on it quite a bit. I, Seriously. See, I just see him playing on his PS4 recently. I do play Ghost Recon still a lot, and... Uh, what's it called? Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. He's playing the campaign. I finally got to play the campaign. Again. But... One of the highlights of this year, definitely, because I'm waiting so long for it. And you know what? There you go. This is how you do it right. It wasn't right. It wasn't ready to ship. There were problems with it. So what so did they, they do? They, delayed they it. worked on it and they worked on it until it was goddamn right. What are you hoping for Christmas, Josh? I'm hoping for a gaming PC. I was hoping for help and happiness for everybody. Yeah, I'm not. Because that's a important. gaming PC. But a gaming PC I'm as well. Really, really, so, really looking forward to Cold War. You know, I'm really looking forward. What to What makes it. you think you're getting a gaming PC? Because it's in the shed. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Now here's the thing that I was thinking about. He's he's now coming away from. Um, can I have your Xbox One, by the way? Honestly, you can have it right now, even though I don't have a gaming PC. I know want to play Halo Master Chief Collection. Yeah, um, so play. he's going to have a gaming PC for Christmas, and that's going to be a, a, a joint, a departure from what has gone before for Josh. And one of the reasons yeah, I'm so I've... keen for him to have the gaming PC is because I want to play so Microsoft. Play I want to play Microsoft Flight Simulator because I'm an aviation. Geek. Obviously, I've been on console all my gaming life. You have, yeah. So, and, I remember... and you've enjoyed it on the whole, haven't you? you yeah, small. because I remember when that came out. That was the Christmas. It, they came out on the Christmas that I got the PS4 in that cottage in Wales. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. So I plugged it in. And yeah. I was like, oh, I got my own console now. And uh, update. There was a Minecraft update for Elytra. <laughs> that's 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 how I read. You know that's what? how I know when I got it. I'd updated it before we left home. So there was an update that came out. Yeah. Had I not updated it before we left home, that would have been a massive update needed down an ADSL connection in a cottage in the in middle of nowhere Wales. in Wales. So you'd still be updating it now. Yeah. So but, no, my <laughs> PS4, no, honestly, my PS4 has created so many great memories, and yeah. I love it. It's it's a so great... why do you want to come away from consoles? Because it's a great console, and there are just some things on PC that I, I would rather play. You know, obviously there's um, there's Discord as well. You know, Discord is. Yeah, don't you? I know what Discord is. Don't there's, use it, but I know what it is. I use it, but people on console don't use Discord, and a lot of my friends use Discord. I think it's also, just, I don't want to say the classic. Oh yeah, better graphics, better performance. Yeah, yeah, because everyone says that. Yeah, exactly. And then somebody down say, there will say, yeah, but you're paying three times the price. Exactly. <laughs> Some little nerd down there. Will be like, blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. Enough of us ranting and going on about random stuff. It's time to play a festering Christmas game now. Let me ask you a question, Josh. Can you name a classic 80s action movie that has become a Christmas classic? I'd say Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 2, surely. One of those two. You are right, Josh. It was Die Hard. Yes, it was. And what better game to play over Christmas than... No, no, don't blow up the cop cars. Because you'll damage yourself. So, bloody hell, this thing is inaccurate. <laughs> I've not seen the film for a long time. Did I just shoot? Can you get to level two? Yeah. Try. Watch. I just shot him in the leg. This thing is incredibly inaccurate. It's, it's not as accurate as the Namco gun, I've got to admit. There's no way of calibrating that gun, I don't think. The Namco gun, you calibrate it at the beginning of every game. So do you, want to know, do you want to know the background story? Go on, then. You play nutcase gun cop John McClane, who's gone to the airport to meet his wife from a trip, so she's coming in to land. But, as is the story of John McClane's life, Move! the airport that he goes to happens to be full of terrorists. So guess what your job is? Kill them. Waste the terrorists, yeah. <laughs> but don't shoot the, in the innocent. They were in the way. Don't shoot the innocents, because all you're going to do is kill your own health, I think. They were in the way. Right, you know what I'm going to All of you die. Okay. Oh, he's even more dangerous now. Oh. He's picked up the MP5. Whoops, sorry. You <laughs> may, may have just shot my mate. Sorry, mate. Give me the... Do you know what I was thinking? It's a good job John went to the airport with his gun. He was, not Yeah. Could you imagine if he didn't have a gun? Beretta? That's sure. <laughs> it's good. This game is easy. You wait. You wait. I didn't... Oh, he's got an RPG. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> shot an RPG in midair. That's realistic, isn't it? I didn't say it was realistic, Josh. Yep, time slows down, giving me the perfect amount of time to shoot. Let me get the bloody... Is that a knife? It was a knife. Oh, you've got the explosive shotgun. If there's any such thing as an explosive shotgun. In Modern Warfare, there is. 
It's more like an RPG than an explosive shotgun, to be fair, isn't it? In Modern Warfare, there is um, an explosive shotgun, you know. It's a very brutal. Aren't all shotguns explosive, though? No, but it's like... Nice! No, but, <laughs> but like, it's explo It's got fire, dragon breath rounds, they're called. Grenade. There's some crates around as well. Yeah, wasn't that crate? Grenade. Do you know how many times I go to the airport and find crates with grenades, grenades in and just lying around in the luggage area and places like that? That's nice. I'm gonna try and use the one iron. shot. I'm gonna try and use the iron sights. I don't think it works. Yeah, no, they don't. They work. don't work. They don't. It's not the most accurate light gun in the world, Josh. <sighs> How can I possibly control? I that? did actually see you were aiming nowhere near that person. Of course, I bloody wasn't. Nice. Let me. That looked like John Wick. John he Wick. looked like John, John Wick. Wick. John Wick would have survived it. John Wick would have handed your ass to you See, on I'm a plate. To be fair, if John Wick was there, I don't even Die. think John McClane could deal with him. Definitely not. <laughs> These pistols are much better than any bloody weapon I'll find on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I find that. Get the MP5. I really don't want it. Do you not? They're kind of bad. You've got 12 grenades and 14 rockets. Alright. <laughs> oh shit. Well, how do I launch the rockets? Whoa! How do yeah. I launch rockets? I'm not sure. I think it goes on to them. <laughs> Get out of my way. With all that gunfire going on, do you think you'd run through the airport with your hands in no, the air like this? So no wonder you're going to die, mate. You need to get your head down, don't you, really? Right, you, know what? you need some health. There we go. You've got the boss coming up. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Oh. How did we just dodge all them shots? What on earth is he holding? Is that a chamber? Quick! There you go. Yeah, that's Whoa. realistic. Spray and pray. <laughs> yeah. That's level one. Well done. What do you think of it? Uh, it's all. Right. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Right, all those crates have things in. Right. Spray! Sorry if I kill anyone. So I think there's ammo and Sorry gun. Sorry if I kill anyone. Jesus Christ, Josh! Oops. Sorry. My bad. It's turned into a massacre. Yeah. Right. There we go. Boom. Oh, shoot the crate, I think you can release him. Did you shoot him? <laughs> Did he shoot his mates? Probably. Oh, you got the shotgun. Well, let's use all the ammo. Yeah, may as well, because it's pretty useless, isn't it? Yeah. I'd rather the pistol with just an extended mag, to be fair. Nah, no, iron sights don't work. No, they don't. You just have to shoot. You have to group your shots. Just see where they're landing. Looks like a tennis ball. Real grenades are around, you know. They're not like oh. Okay, so you got to the beginning of level two. Die Hard trilogy on the PlayStation One. I remember the year that came out. I loved it. You weren't that keen, were you? Uh, just, I found that it was. I don't know. I've got a word. I'm not that I know what you found it. Inaccurate.
I found it inaccurate. <laughs> I found it quite. I tell you what, it's almost quite achy for you to just sit there and aiming constantly. I find that quite achy. You know, level what, your arms. Yeah, level one. I was like, Jesus Christ. You know, got a. It's quite. It's laborious in that kind of sense. I don't know. I, I'm giving it too much slate, but. It was okay. You had fun back then for that to come out and for it to come with a light gun. That yeah. must have been pushing the limits. Do you know what I mean? You're growing up. Being, Thank a, you, John. being able to shoot yeah. on a TV like that—that yeah. that must have been cutting edge. That and Time Crisis. But nowadays, that is just—it makes me. But just it's a go, classic yeah, Christmas shoot, game, shoot, and shoot, you shoot. just had to How, play. That's one thing I'm confused about. How the hell is it a Christmas game? It just is, and that's all you need. How? To know. In the game, there's nothing. Um, you shoot terrorists. Die Hard for God's One sake. and Die Hard Two are set, I think, on Christmas Eve. Oh God, that makes it Christmas. Yeah. Because I can sit here and waffle about whatever. We know. <laughs> hey, that's my Mister Do Hat. You messed my hair up. Um, what? Without you, lot, we wouldn't bother. So thank you very much for joining us and again for another us. year. Fingers crossed, seriously guys, fingers crossed that next year is better. Um, it's going to be a hell of a lot better for everyone. I don't think it's going to be. It'd be nice to get out and see you guys. It'd be nice to go on road trips again and have beers and curry with our friends. It's not going to be like that for And long visit long. some of these arcades before they go out of business. Um, if everyone does go out for these four days. Yeah, just Christmas, be sensible, it's... please. You know, wear your masks, do a bit of social distancing. Just wear your masks properly and we your will nose get and your mouth. It's through this festering pile it's of shit. It's not difficult. No. But some people seem to feel that it's is difficult but it's not and you're stupid and okay. I oh, sorry. it wouldn't be a Christmas show without us doing one more thing for you and we know you love these it's time for a montage yes and you know what a montage does don't you it conveys the passing of time it does indeed thank you very much for watching happy Christmas everyone see you all later take care goodbye well, Peshwari 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 Nan. Peshwari Nan. chicken tikka masala yes same board rice yes pop doms yes well done. That's well, what you're getting. My guy. Well done. It's Father's Day. Yes. Thank you very much for all my little bits and pieces that you bought me today. Just chocolate. Um, yes, no amazing news. Coming. No one saw that coming at all. We didn't think that there was going to be a FIFA 21. Um, and apparently it's a more realistic game of men chasing a ball around the field than you've ever seen before. Yes, a kid tried to tell me the other day that it's better than Call of Duty in every single way. And it's better than the uh, previous FIFA. And when I asked him how, he just said, it's just better. What am I missing? I'm missing... I'm missing cricket. It could have been worse. My English teacher's weird. You try telling a 10-year-old kid to go to sleep that there's not a volcano under his bed. It's hard work. I wasn't so, 10. I was about 6. 10. Tom Cruise is only 3 foot tall. No, he isn't. Oh, he has got short legs in this game, actually. But on Tom that Cruise is 3 foot tall? Yeah, about 3 and a half foot tall. What are you on about? Your Q laser. That's your Q claw. That's your Q camera. <laughs> That's your Q decryptor. There's your Q laser. No. There you go. I don't brick myself now going to the toilet, no. Do you not? No. no. I go to the toilet at night and I'm... I'm scared. Ow, oh, Jesus. He's got a big laser. Yeah, and that's the most scuffed thing. You can have a video. What's scuffed? Scuffed is just broken, not good, right. not very good. Okay. Good morning, people. It's 20 past seven and um, I dragged Josh out of bed at six o'clock this morning. How impressed does he look? That doesn't make sense. What will you do this for me then? Hmm? At real time, two o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, I want it to pop out. I want it on canvas or something like that. We've had a letter from one of our from our subscribers, Stukafish, and he wrote to us We've and said, yeah, We've he said to us, Dear Retro Shed. Could you and the boy do more reviews of Bond games, please? Thanks for that, Stuka Fish. Um, nice. Sorry? Yeah, man. Are your fingers clean? Yeah. Who would you say is the sleaziest Bond ever? Definitely Roger Moore. It's got to be Roger it's Moore, isn't it? I mean, even his name. Roger Moore. <laughs> Wait for it. Thank you. I'm sure we'll think of something. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am a pro gamer. That is slightly overpowered, isn't it? Just about. You know what? If we ran into Aldi today and bought 50 hammers, 
It's Aldi, actually. People would look at us and go, oh my god, they've just bought 50 hammers. We need a hammer too. We need to buy hammers too. I'm missing school. You have insurance in various regulator and stuff you've got to pay for. She's the RPG. <laughs> we are in uncharted waters really aren't we at the moment also to announce quarantine uh, we walked into a weather spoons which was was weird wasn't yeah. it yeah it was a bit like a zombie holocaust inside weather spoons not outside toilet roll you go for a crap you need toilet roll but you don't need 900 rolls of toilet roll meters away <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know what come here boom <laughs> Your Q decryptor, your Q claw, your Q laser. No, that hey. one. <laughs> You're nearly 50. You're saying I could die? Yes. And she's already got the coronavirus. Don't say that. She hasn't. She works at the NHS. That doesn't mean to say she's got the virus just because she works at the NHS. She's more than likely got it. Respect to everyone that works in the NHS. Yeah, you know yeah respect. What? You know you what? You're doing a great job. We're very doing, happy for you. You're doing an absolutely fabulous job. Thank you very much, but you're more than likely you've got corona. Don't use a sniper on him. It's not worth it. That's Fortnite. You not understand? Snipers are my primary weapon. Yeah, but he was 10 metres away. And I use them when they're 2 metres away. You're going to die. You are. I told you. <laughs> Is that good for you? That's good, yeah, that's good. That's a good shot. Okay, that's it. Yeah, keep doing that. You're allowed to work at home because you've just got to make sure that the country of India is still running or something, can't you? What? If you or one of your family members has contracted coronavirus, one lung sells for 300,000 on the black market, so just sell them. I thought you were going to say something sensible then for a moment. No. For a moment. No. What the... See, they're swimming, they're swimming, they're swimming, they're swimming, they're swimming. Keep gaming, look after yourself. Sell your relatives. Yeah. No. Yeah. How dare you compare oh, come on. FIFA? Does, no, I'm not comparing FIFA. To Doom. Well, I'd compare it to another series, but I don't know any of the game series that does something as cheap as FIFA does. That reminds me, you know, I got so bored in a maths lesson that I counted how many digits you can type into a calculator before it stops letting you type. <laughs> you can no scope! <laughs> oh my god! Well, yeah, you can't miss from there, can you? Alright, no need to get toxic. There's no logic in locking down the country but and allowing kids to go to school. Of children Hundreds of mixing thousands. Mixing with each other. Money doesn't buy you happiness, you know. Okay. And you? And you? <laughs> you lot have got nothing on me. I've just. Excuse my language, but I've just shat on them all. <laughs> you lot are trash. Shit. Shit. <laughs> If you guys get in here with me, I swear to God. Where's your gun? Uh. Oh, he's giving you some bullets, but he hasn't given you a gun. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Back into the crack room. <laughs> the crack room. The smackhead room. I'm having a lot of fun, you know. Hey, yeah. Mm. That's good. That's what it's all about. Hey, bro. Ha <laughs> Look, guys, I've got bullets. <laughs> I've got no gun. But, like, I need a gun. I mean, I've only got... <laughs> I don't know, I've only got bullets. This is cool and all, but like... <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. Are you sweating? That's a good tactic, actually, just avoid that thing. Oh, oh not fly into it, though. You little bum sweat, I swear. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what arrived in the post this morning? He's a space marine stuck in some space thing with space demons. Yes, That's all you need to know. Open that, that's a door. Yeah, no, I'm just looking at that. Oh. 
I'd just woken up, so I've come down the stairs half asleep, and he's like, Josh, look! And I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, take a picture. I'm like, it's I'm falling asleep at this point. How he's beautiful like, is it? Take a picture, take a picture. I'm like, Happy New Year to you. He came clutching something. A fairly packed bag here, Bats. Dean has brought his bag. Wondered if you'd like to see what's in the bag. What is in Dean's bag? I know everyone's dying to know. I've been waiting three years for this. Thank you for creating something that's just absolutely beautiful. Millionaire shortbread in a can. Lovely. Sponsored Everton. Did they? Yeah. Who were they? Back in the day, they sponsored oh, Everton. football, sorry. NEC, sorry, that's football. <laughs> Do not twist the mic. Oh yes, Josh twisted it and snapped the connector off. <laughs> I know, the swine. What's that? Something to do with sexuality. Oh, suitable for boys and girls. Is it warning you that it's transgender? No. No, you have to stay the <gasps> hell away from them. Mate, that thing just shanked you. I just survived <laughs> it. How'd you survive that? He just shoved you. Chicken. That's not chicken. It is. That's not chicken. It says 91% seasoned chicken breast. Fridge re Oh my god, Josh, the chicken has never been within 300 miles of that stuff. Yeah, it, it hasn't. That was Play Bidford, and a good time was had by all, I'd say. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, pretty good. And we didn't feel like we wanted to make videos because we're not right in the head. But we weren't right at the same time. And as you look at the way some of the <laughs> have been behaving in Tesco's this morning. I'm going to have to beat that out. <laughs> the woman did have a mask, but uh, it was here. <laughs> she had like a triple chin and it was here. Yeah, and her she... child was no better, right? <laughs> he looked about my age as well. <laughs> And I'm he was reading just notes stood here. there. This isn't in the script. And he was stood there, looking like he'd just woken up. Uh, he looked like he had an IQ of about four, and his mask was also on his neck. I'm gonna get taken up by them so I Should be able to do it. I can see it. Shit. Exactly. This game is, I think, perfection. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, you plumsack. Unacceptable. I'm just glad there's not footage of me when I was 12 years old. Unacceptable. It's not. You were a little cutie pie. Oh, I wasn't. Bad. I look stupid. Don't shoot the dog. I didn't shoot the dog. I he can't did. believe you just shot that dog. I didn't. He did. Yes. Yes, right. Quick. You're getting attacked. Shit. Whee. There he is. There he is. He's coming. Get my minigun. No, not the not pistol. The... <laughs> not you're the gonna... fist. You're going to die. No, I'm not. You're going to die. No, I'm not. Where's my <laughs> minigun? <laughs> I'm gone! I've been scammed! I think we're good. Are you fine with that? What if they're retro gamers? They're going to be really annoyed at you for putting all their I don't through. think they're retro gamers for some reason. Go away! Oh, thanks, Microsoft, you Sorry. Oh, wait, you can't use Word right now. We're updating. They are this company, aren't they? They really are Microsoft. I fucking hate them. They don't ask you. They don't say, oh, there are updates. Do you want to put them on now or later? Because you might be busy. I do hate Microsoft. I really hate Microsoft so much. If I met Bill Gates, you know what? I'd.